Welcome back to a new episode of Road to Rank 1, and today we're, st Ooh, we're starting against the Barcode Terran. Whenever there's a Barcode Terran, and it's a little bit late at night, you know, my uh, eyelids are starting to fall a bit as well already. I was afraid that it might be Hero Marine. Hero Marine truly is the terror of the European ladder. Like, he'll show up and take your points, tune into his stream for some advice, he just calls you bad. That's not really advice, Hero Marine. You know, he's... It's awful. Most of the time, you know, if I lose the showtime, I'll go to his stream. Showtime is watching the, his game and he explains exactly all the mistakes I made in excruciating detail. We got the Hero Marine stream and it just calls you a greedy protoss that he punished. I'm like, well, I was a greedy protoss and I did get punished, but maybe a little bit more in depth detail there. I wouldn't mind Hero Marine. Oh, accidentally don't scout around. That's a mistake. Let's take a look. See if there's anything around our bases here. It's always important to get those scouts. Um, I want to open up with a high ground wall because I uh, I like it. I like how high ground walls. Can't help myself. Ooh, I actually want to play a different build, but it is a, it is what it is. Sometimes you realize halfway through starting your build order that you want to do something else. I'll actually open up with a fast uh, nexus here, just for fun. Yep, there we go. That feels good. Send this one over. I'm always afraid I'm not in time to build my cybernetic square. Oh, this is just going to be a, uh, a one rex expand, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No double gas here. Wasn't a gas first either. So we already got, despite not a lot happening, we got a decent chunk of information. I'm fairly low on the uh, on the gas count. That is on purpose. I wanted to bait out a marine. I think this is a reaper first. Usually if you go this deep with your probe and they have a marine, they send it down because they believe they can kill your probe. So either he's really trying to hide the fact that he opened up with a marine or the more likely scenario is just that it's a reaper start. I think that's the case here as well. We'll open up with a uh, an adept chrono boost. I need to move this uh, probe away for a little bit. I don't think I could make it home in time in case the reaper shows up. So just have to piss off real fast. It is what it is. Yep, there we go. Reaper's here. And now we can send this one back in as well. The first born shall oh. persevere. Pretty Protoss player. Kevin de Koning over here. Okay, he didn't actually scout my initial tech yet, which is huge. Which means I kind of got away with it as well. He's never going to be capable of scouting it now. Oh, this is super big. I'm a huge fan of this. Oh, no way! No way! Oh, this is super greedy. Wow! If I had chrono boosted my second unit, he would have lost it, his, his Reaper without really getting anything out of this. Oh, that's so greedy, bro. Oh my god, I hate that. I absolutely hate that. Okay, well, in the end we're gonna get it, but... It took a while, huh? Pretty late with all of our extra units as well. We'll play a... Uh... No, we're not going to get an extra unit. Just three gates. That's about it. Pylon over here. Pylon down there. We play a three gate opener here. Which I think is a, a good way to go about this. I think so, at least. So we start with one. Ideally, your second gateway is already finished at this point. It's going to be a sloppy game. It's going to be a sloppy game. But the nice thing that I do know already is that his initial, uh, if he's even opening with a mind drop, is going to be quite delayed. His initial mind drop is going to be quite delayed if he opens with it. We'll patrol something here. Chrono mm. boost this bad boy a couple of times. Because of the Reaper first, that is, of course. Like, Reapers just completely delay everything you can do. Which is why I think a lot of Terran players... Ooh, Ooh, I like that. I like that move out there, buddy. I really do like that, actually. Is that one or two? No, it's just one. I really like that. I like that type of uh, marine move. I think it's really, really good. Just trying to catch anything that's coming his way. Could be as well because there is a uh, something else brewing. Oh, yeah. Ooh, there's definitely something brewing there. Huh? 
silver lining, long range of battle, through an open space, I'm in my mind, and she's not there. Surely he's gonna try to reinforce his position, huh? Yep, there we go. Just in time. Wait, 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 wait. Not the tightest response out of me, but there was a lot going on there, to be quite fair to me. To be fair to me, there was a lot going on there. Ooh, we're lacking one unit uh, in this base. So we lost the base. He also lost a lot of units, I think. I wonder how all in this was out of my opponent as well. Actually get a Templar Archives, so we can go into uh, to something along these lines. Fourth gateway. I definitely seize this now. Come on, I know you're here. I know you want to do something as well. Nah, I can't do anything. I'm, uh, I'm still in a playable position, I think. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm in a playable position, but... It's going to be quite tough. I'll need quick, quick storm. And we'll need a, a, a really good counterattack as well. We just invested so heavily into stalkers here that that might feel quite bad in the near future. Oh, 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 oh that was very sloppy micro. <laughs> well, actually, there was no micro whatsoever. A lack of micro. Maybe I can snipe a tanky? No, I can't. Right now, I probably should have figured out um, that I don't have that base over there. He definitely has figured that out. Okay, where are you coming from? Where do you come from? Where do you go? Where do you come from? Got the night, Joe. Did he just... Oh my god, what a good move. What a brilliant move here. Really like that. Come on. No, it's not it, huh? It's not it, not it, not it, not it, not it, not it. Um, you guys go here. He's gonna continue attacking, or what is this crap? That is... That is kind of weird, actually. Do not like that. Um, what a fort base. I want... I need some extra info as well. Yeah, he's going for a fairly defensive setup here. One of the problems that I have right now with all of this is that I need to tech out of my current composition. And I need to do that fairly quick as well. Okay, this is good. So we always need to kind of monitor my opponent's response here. Ooh, what is that? That's weird. That's what it is. No, can't fight that yet. Okay, see if there's... Okay, yeah. He's coming already, which is an issue, of course. It's a massive issue even. And the reason why this is an issue is because I'm not really ready yet. I don't have any disruptors out. I don't have anything else reared out. Now, I am ready in this position to deal with any potential drops. Here we go.
Why isn't he attacking me at all? Isn't that fairly hot? I thought there were still some medivacs in there. Have the medivacs died already? Is that what's happened here? Wait. There's no way a Terran can go this long. Oh my god, no he can. I was gonna say he can go this long without uh, F2-ing. But apparently Terrans can these days. Come on, one more! One more! Oh my god, that was frustrating. I feel like there might be an attack happening towards the bottom side right now. Hmm, doesn't quite seem to be the case. Need some good spread here on the crap. I wonder who this is. Hey, he's not a brilliant player, but definitely not a terrible player either, you know? The control here is... Uh, is solid. I like it, to be quite honest. No, that was bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I shot that way too late there. Shot it? He immediately, uh, he immediately capitalized on that as well. That's usually the, the show of a good player. It's when they capitalize on your errors. I think I'm dead. Just don't have enough, uh, staying power here. Yeah. Very nice. Well done. Oh, this was oh, this was a good player. So much uh, supply. This initial build, it tech. I don't want to say it was a, a a build order win for me, but it got pretty close to being a build order win for me. And the fact that I didn't just straight up win, that's impressive. Uh, I think this might have actually been a, a, a good player here. Six three, lower than I thought. I actually thought it was going to be a very high level player. This somewhat surprises me even. It really does. I wonder who it is. Oh, well played at least. You're gonna lose a bunch of MMR there. 30. And we'll be heading uh, straight into our second game. Look at that for the second game here. We have EU Hey Hey as our opponent. A Zerg player who I still do not quite know who it is. I just know it's a it's a player. It's a Zerg. I've played against this, uh, this player a decent amount. That's the ugliest portrait in the entire world, which is I think the most recent Serral portrait for winning Intellect Stream Masters Katowice. It always looks a little bit like uh, the Pokemon Muck has like uh, evolved or something. I really am not a huge fan of those portraits, but it is what it is. If you have made those portraits, I'm sorry for insulting you. I'm just not a huge fan of them. All right, uh, what are we gonna play here? Well, we'll start with a, a cheeky block here. And actually, ooh. I think it was last week where I showed some of the strange builds. Some of the build that the player Strange made. I kind of want to go for that again. I really, really enjoy playing those builds. Like the kind of old schoolish uh, four gate glaive, three gate glaive type of vibes with fairly fast pushes. And because we're here on Moon Dance, that could come as a bit of a surprise. I managed to block as well. So you know what I'm going to do? I'll go for a. Ooh, yeah, okay, this was going to happen. Double adapt uh, with a block, hatch block, like we're doing here. And then we'll follow it up with a stalker and just a, a more standard four gate glaive without a robotics facility. Don't forget that is extremely key when playing these types of build orders is to not get a robotics facility. All right, here we go. Um, so that it allows you to get a way faster third base. That is really the... That's one, one of the key ideas behind almost every single build that Strange has, which is just super cool in my opinion. I think I, I really have been enjoying playing some of these build orders over the past uh, past week or so. Five, six, seven days. Um, it is a little bit weird often as well how these build orders come to work because it feels like you're cutting workers in a lot of places but despite that uh, because you have such a fast third base your eco is actually quite good now this map is of course special in that you can take the backdoor base relatively easily as well which makes life even well, better more interesting uh, whatever word you want to use i think it will kind of fit Ooh, that's a double 
double Ling run by there. So we're going to need to fight these links. That's one thing that is for sure. Ooh, there's more links coming in right now. That is somewhat surprising. And we send all of these mining into Warsh. Oh, I'm kind of afraid right now, actually. Is, what, what if this is like a... Uh, what if I'm being tricked here? And this is a, a, a link flood. Hey, it is possible now that this is an actual link flood. Oh, we don't see any extra links here. I'm just going to send these out on the map. This. Get this. Link kills here. Can actually cancel this. Oh, that feels good. That feels real good. You need to stay home. Maybe. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. No, we. Ooh. No! What? Why wasn't that in the correct position? I mean, this will be fine. This will be just fine. Yeah, I'm absolutely zero worried here. So. I was correct about it being a uh, a link flood. Ah, this is. I am legitimately zero worried here. I can warp maybe uh, an adept with this. Yep, that was good and important as well. Now we're just gonna get more and more adepts, and this game it has actually just ended. Like, my opponent isn't aware of this yet, but there's literally nothing my opponent can do that would make me doubt my position whatsoever. Like, absolutely nothing. Do we need to cancel this at some point? Probably should have cancelled this uh, instead, but it is what it is. Ah, we have so many gateways. Um, so this is the only scary second here that we're gonna live through. But, well, that wasn't too scary after all, maybe. Do I still want the battery? I think I want the battery in this wall. It's also not the tightest wall. Like, I'll, I'll just... I'll, despite me not needing any supply, I'm just gonna add another one so that the wall just, you know... It, a little bit of extra fortification here. We'll cancel these workers. Get an extra base going up. So we kind of stick through to our initial plan. And we'll throw down a Dark Shrine as well. At the same time. Oh, he has so many. So many links. Do you want to fight this actually? I don't think you do. He needs to. He needs to fight this. That's, that's his issue right now. Maybe he's actually transitioning into a... Into a bailing bus or something along those lines. Could be possible, but... Also, not something I'm actually worried about. None of this would have even gone that terribly wrong had I just uh, kept my stalker in the wall like a good boy. But as always, I wasn't a good boy. I tried to be a bad boy. And could have had big consequences if he managed to, to block my my pylon. He didn't manage to block my pylon, so I'm literally zero worried there. There's, no, there's not going to be any roaches, which is the real issue. And you, you, just, you just can't trade. You just can't trade. Like, even if the worker count would have been at like 50 at this point, you just can't trade against more than 10 adepts. It is impossible with pure Ling. You need either a very high queen count or spines. Um, and none of these things were there. It was a low queen count. There were no spines. Thus, I get the, the free four points. And we get to head into our next game immediately. All right. We get four Jumi over here on Stargazers this time around, which is an interesting map. This is one of these maps where I'm not entirely sure what the correct play is, you know? It feels like there should be an optimal way to play it. And at the same time, it feels like there's like four different build orders at work that just kind of counter one another. So something that I think Forjumi has played against me in the past is like a full pile and pile and gate wall on top of the ramp. And it just creates these weird scenarios, at least in my mind, weird scenarios. We'll have to wait and see if that's going to be the case here. So I scout after Gateway um, and just figure out what he's actually up to. I have so many good builds though to, to to clear this type of opener. And we'll see if I need to pull anything out. Now, if he full walls, I'm I'm actually just gonna proxy robo. I'm so tired of people not respecting the proxy robo, like when they full wall on top of a ramp. It's like just because you have a full wall doesn't mean I can just proxy a robo right in front of your base mate. I can do what I want. I'm a big boy. And big boys don't cry. Okay, yeah. So this is the exact build order. This is the exact build order. Okay, there's another thing you can do here. This is this is kind of insane though. I would not recommend it. 
This is one of the things I don't recommend. Oh, he's actually gonna get a zealot. I think he'll cancel the zealot, right? No shot. He's gonna finish that. He can't if he finish the zealot. I'm gonna be upset. So I need to. Nah, I don't think it's gonna work in general. It's because he played the uh, very fast core. Yeah. Ah, lame. My plan was to go and cancel that thing, but now I, mean, I don't really have to. I can just play adapt to death there. Ah. So if he if he gets a nexus in his main base before anything else. My position is, you know, I can just take out one of the pylons and then I can scout as well, which is super cool, obviously. Uh, we're just going to build a, a robo here. And what else do we do? Pylon in this location, followed up with double stalkers. Something along those lines. I just want to scout with this. I feel like there might be a proxy on the map. Uh, it, it feels like I'm being proxied. It really does feel that way. don't want him to see the fact that I'm chronoing my warp gate. I think that this is going to be a, uh, a proxy oracle, by the way. Or a proxy oracle, like a stargate over here somewhere. It feels like a, a four Jumi move. If there's uh, such a thing as a four Jumi move. Then that be, in my mind, considered a four Jumi move. Okay, that's interesting. Pylon over there on the very edge. That's actually quite interesting, huh? Just gonna finish one of these. So I can see if an, uh, an oracle flies across the map, right? That's probably somewhat important. I'm just gonna one base all in, so I don't give a crap. Let's see what he's actually planning on doing. The funny thing with an all, a, a one base all in like this as well, is that he doesn't know whether I'm one base all in or if I'm not one base all in. So right now he's just... If I, if I show up later, that might actually be better for me. Might be better for my all in. in he, he might try and take a third base at some point, you know? It's a possibility. Something we need to keep in mind. It should be funny. In my mind, at least. Okay, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna show this here. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, but you prick! What? Oh, he's... One... It was all fake. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here. Don't worry about my friend. <laughs> I wasn't here. I'm still not here. I'm still not here. I'm still not here. Please leave me alone. Okay, how about this? I go to the top of this ramp and then I pray. I'm in so much trouble right now. So much trouble. Like actually infinite trouble. Go fast, get one more of these. I want one sentry extra as well. It's playable for me now. It's not great. Uh, I don't want to lose that pylon actually. Never really like this type of move. I feel like it gives up a lot of his uh, ability to go into places. Ugh. Losing that adapt also wasn't brilliant though. I'll immediately admit that. Is there something here? No. Let's go up. Up and running. So the. the uh, Not have chrono boosted. I repeat, should not have chrono boosted. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna check if there's a natural or not. I think there will be a natural at this point. He definitely should be considering building a natural. Come on, blink in. Did I kill that or no? I don't think I have. Ooh, don't think I can actually go for it either. That's somewhat scary. The, uh, it doesn't have a natural then yet, right? If there's this many stalkers. He's actually doubling down. Oh, now I can fight, huh? You're still in here, buddy.
Yeah, that's bad. That's bad, bro. That is not good. That is not good whatsoever for you, my friend. My brother. Uh, blinking up into that angle now is going to be scary for my opponent. Uh, we can move down here, I think. Yeah, very, very slow. You see that? Very slow expansion. So, Eco is going to be similar. His potential is going to be non-existent. We got our own blink as well. This is mental. This is crazy. This is crazy stuff. You're not allowed to do that. Legitimately not allowed to do it. He's gonna try and do it again though. After I push him away from this ramp. So he thinks I'll be guarding this ramp. He's gonna go up. Then I'll force him to blink away into this general area. He's gonna go in 100%. He doesn't know I have vision. Needs to blink. Oh, no, no, no. You, you can't go there, buddy. You can't go there. No, no, no. Okay, now he's going to go up down here. My, it was not going to be capable of getting a cancel, that's for sure. Hey, this is just bad. This is bad all around for my opponent. We start blink. We start uh, a dark shrine as well. What are we currently afraid of? Well, honestly, not very much. I have this. Okay, now we could make a cool move actually. So what I'm gonna be doing here right now is when my opponent moves out. Or ooh, okay, that's scary. That actually is somewhat scary. Deciding to attack that it scares me. He's gonna go in here right now with a smaller group of stalkers, four or so. That's obviously the next step, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's so obvious, like, all pro players think the same. I would have done the same thing here. Yeah, this is... This is exactly how I would have done it as well, I think. Oh, now he's going to try and clear this. Oh, we can both see each other. This is a pretty crazy play, honestly. He's oh, gonna make a big play into my main, or what? I'm fairly confused as to what is happening. Look at this, look at this. Oh. That's not good. I thought this would work. I really believed it. Okay, well, at least we'll force some crap back right now. Allows us to take some map control. We'll take this as our third base. I'm not sure if I can attack or not. Oh, I have a sick plan. This seems greedy, getting into such a fast blink DT. No! Wrong position. Sorry for screaming. Won't happen again. Um, but getting DT blink here is actually sick because it allows me to blink into this type of location as, as long as I have vision. And I think I'll keep vision for a little bit longer. Um, what am I careful of, or what, what am I wary of right now, is uh, getting potentially DT'd myself. That could be dangerous. I need to actually figure out what my opponent's infrastructure is over here. Luckily, I have plenty of these bad boys. I'm going to boost this once more. It's only 100 seconds for DT blink. Oh, it feels so little. It feels like it's so, so little. Oh, that's a lot of crap now. That's that. There's a, a cannon there. Which... A cannon is... Uh, is fake safety. It's a concept that I invented. It's something that just makes you feel safe. 
while it doesn't actually provide safety against blink DTs. People always say they think, ah, oh, I have a cannon. I can do everything now. But no, you have a cannon. You're still going to need uh, alternative defenses as well. Just a cannon is simply not enough. Oh, that's bad. That was potentially really bad. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Come on. Smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it! Thank you. Blink! Thanks, so. Okay, so now he knows that he'll need to do stuff here the entire time. This was an insane blink down. If I'm in position with stalkers there, that's four stalkers that just die for free. That is an insane blink down. I'm gonna call these out in the future. Like every single... Oh, I have stalkers here? I kind of forgot about these. Oopsies. Mm, don't like when that stuff happens. Do not like when that stuff happens. Okay, we sent five around. Now, um, my immortals are quickly losing value. And one of the reasons for that is, is because my opponent went into something that usually I go for. And that is called... On, finish my sentence, Kevin. Oh, it's called the... Uh, disruptors. Right. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to need to be careful there. We'll do a, a, tri a triple-pronged attack right now. So we just need vision uh, for as long as we're trying to push this general area forward. Like as long as we have vision here while this is happening, I think we're okay. Oh, just shoot these bad boys. Just gonna leave it here because I can, not because I think it's necessarily very good. We'll take a gold base as well at the same time. And we'll move into this position. I don't want to kill that, don't I? We're just going to play like a kind of a, a mass unit style. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of gas here. Should not be included. I wonder if I can just go up and do stuff or no? Okay, this needs to die. It's important. Allows me to make plays in the future, which is one of the most important things in life. It's just opening opportunities for yourself. Okay, we want a lot of DTs here. Keep one on hold position over there. We don't actually want to provide my opponent more information than you need to. Okay, we're gonna bring these in. I thought that was a DT. Oh, there's DT, sir. You're being owned here, though. No? Am I being owned? DTs defensively are really putting in some work, have to admit it. Let's see if, uh, if we can actually do something here. Let's go, buddy. Was this bad for me? Killed some bases. And... Close game, that's for sure. Oh, I think he figured it out.
This scares me. I think I'm dead, honestly. Just gonna continue pushing out, though. Yeah, just gonna continue pushing on no matter what happens. Quick response out of my opponent here, which is good for him, bad for me. The quicker his responses, the less damage I get to do. But we'll see. Maybe I can just blink away. Yeah, I definitely can. I hope he blinks after me. That would be really bad for my opponent. Be really good for me, does. Oh, what's that? I am here in the shadows. Get one cannon over here, huh? No, 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 oh, no, 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 I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Okay, let's see if he has any detection here yet or no. I think the answer might just be no. Good splits out of me. Very good splits even. Not so sure if this is enough, though. I think it might just be. Oh, it's definitely. Oh, oh, there's crap in here. You die. Yep, you do die. That felt good, no? I got one of these over here. Killed most of the disruptors there. Turning to tie quite a game, by the way. Here, uh, this was fairly risky. Shouldn't have done that. I didn't know if there was anything behind that. Where are you going? They're going blinking back up or what? Definitely still stuck there now. Okay. Ah, she wasn't very well done by me. I need to keep an eye on this as well, huh? which is once again pretty important. More important than I would want it to be, I think, which is the real takeaway. Ah, okay. I was looking at it. I was like, hmm, feels like there's something over here. Where are you at, buddy? Guys going here? That's about. Just as I was in the process as well over there of uh, you okay, he's going back in. Ah, she. Oh, this is a risky move by him. No, don't like that at all. Don't like that at all. Got some of his own as well. I wish I had some type of uh, way to. To do stuff. Okay, I need to kill this. That's what I need to do. What's this upgrade? Three one. Maybe I can get away here. That was really good for me. That die. Let's see if there's any disruptors here. Oh, yeah, there's two. You require my the problem that I have right now... Um, so this needs to be base 4, this needs to be base 5. Okay, I want to send something in here now. I'm going to use a single DT. Probably be high. Very nice, got that.
Tried to get out of there, did not quite succeed. And get some extra upgrades going. You're gonna teleport in here. Yeah, that's annoying. You're gonna have to die though. Um, so I'm really afraid of just a straight up move out towards this bottom base, which is one of the things I'm always pretty afraid of, honestly. So I just get the teleport away here, and maybe, just maybe, you're gonna be the one that saves. No, you're, uh, we can get away, which is nice. Now we're gonna try something on the bottom side as well, over here. Oh, he definitely has vision there then. That's interesting to note. That is very interesting to note. Yeah, no, he he had vision there the entire time, and then me staying there for this long was just stupid. Uh, nothing but sheer stupidity and uh, arrogance as well, in a certain way. Just being like, ah, he's probably not smart enough to realize that. No, of course he's smart enough to realize that. We're fairly good players here, this part of the ladder. All of us. Maybe I can... Maybe... Yeah, 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 I knew that was going to happen. Is there disruptors? Disruptors are trailing a bit, maybe. Maybe we weren't even around. We have a lot of money. Or a lot of money, we have a lot of probes. 70. I'm gonna try and take this space. Don't mind not having that base, actually, right now. Now that I think about it, there's a lot of crap coming here. This doesn't feel that great for me, honestly. Are you winning? Feels viable, at least. Blinking in here is somewhat scary because I don't have complete knowledge of when the next one is going to shoot. Yeah. Don't like this at all. You guys are gonna go here. I need vision on that top side again. And I want a lot of workers here ASAP. The moment I get some workers going there, they could really improve everything in my life. Uh, as well as just having... Because then I, I'll actually get some... Uh, Get some actual income, huh? Oh, probably knows I still have something here. Doesn't know exactly where. Maybe he has disruptors adding into the mix right now. Yep, there we go. Want to teleport one more DT into his main base currently. That would be pretty, pretty good for me. We have good gas mining as well. I need a massive surround if I want to do something useful here in my life. Oh, no, 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 well, that was not it. Now, eating that large bullet there, I think that cost me the game just now. Oh, I think we would have had it otherwise. Yeah, maybe we wouldn't have had it. Maybe we were dead already. It's hard to say. We had such... We should have eventually transitioned into disruptors ourselves, I think. But here... We were pretty even. Like, I'm down an upgrade. This is playable. This is playable. This is playable. And once this finishes, I think I'm still just slightly down. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's... No, it's definitely playable at this point. Like, here I just need a very good surround. But instead, I ate a couple of uh, disruptor shots in the face. It was like 20 supply. Oh, so close! But yet, very far away as well. Oh, got me good. It is what it is. Life is life. 
And uh, that is going to be it for me today. Minus 42. Beautiful way to end at 6486. I thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thank you and bye bye.